So welcome, what we have here is the new router from Rafael, the LO55. Um, and let's see what's inside the case. Yeah. We are here on the Lipa, we see the machine for the first time. And just take it out and let's see what type of functions we have. If we work with the router, we have three main functions. One time is the height adjustment. For the height adjustment, we have a permanent fixation. You open it, adjust it, and if you leave the bottom, it's automatically fixed and properly uh, tightened. Second point, if we want to change the tool, you usually use something uh, to, to, to work with. What we have here is a toolless change. I don't know what the name is. <laughs> Uh, we open the lever and if we open it, the whole system is open. We can use the router bit, put it in, close it, and then it is fixed and we don't have to think about how strong we tighten the whole system. Next thing, to adjust the depth, we go with the router bit to the zero level, the surface of our material. And then we invented also something completely new. We don't have any screws or something. We just open the lever here. You go down with the column. You adjust the depth you want. Then you go to zero. You adjust the depth you want. Tighten it again. And then you have the distance here between the column and the rocket. And you can then easily use the depth. We have a speed control here. We have six different levels. Plug the machine in. See them, and you can adjust it here. Additionally, to these six levels, we also have a deboost function. We call it, and this is if you uh, route somewhere along the grain. You usually need a different speed if you go against the grain. And this is what we can adjust here. So let's switch the machine on. We have now the full speed. And if you press this switch, we reduce it to 30%. And if you see it here, then it's activated. And if you want to go back again, we just do the switch and we go back to 100%. This is possible in every position. So it's just to help you get a better result without burning the surface. Um, yeah, we have a light so that you can see what you do or where you work. We have an integrated dust extraction. And let's take a look on the lower side. Um, what we have here for smaller um, water bits like this. We can use the inlay for the base plate to have a thin surface. If we have bigger routers, you can easily turn it out. And then you can use routers up to... Let's make it more international. Up to this. Um, what you see, we have the dust extractor here. And to make the dust extraction even better, uh, we have... Uh, So within the delivery specification, we have one adapter to make the dust extraction better. We have a concentrated dust extraction opening here, which makes it possible that even if we work out a groove, the dust will be transported out and sucked into the dust extraction. This is if we work on one level. If you use the groove in the base plate, that fits perfectly on the guiding tongue of the rail. We have a little difference between the offlays. Might work. And this is why we have another accessory also within the delivery specification. We have the same dust extraction channel. And now we have the, dis the, the difference of the two surfaces. And this matches the system here perfectly. So we have a perfect offlay on both sides. If you don't work with a rail and you might use a, a guiding yeah, something, we don't know which would be the right height to use this. This is why we have a, um, a support. If you open the screw, 
there is a support coming out and you can adjust it uh, without any index uh, to the up to 40 millimeters and in this case you don't need the 40 millimeters so we put it in tighten the screw and then we have an offlay a support on both sides what we also have if we take a look on the lower side of the machine here we can also work with different copy wings within the delivery specification we have four types we have three sizes 20 and 40 and we have one adapter for lead jigs or porter cable system of guide pushes most important thing here it is very important for the quality of the work that the um, guide is positioned perfectly into the base plate and against the router. This is why if we put it in, we have automatically put the guide push in the right position. So it is centered in all directions perfectly. We only have to tighten it additionally here with the central clamping system. Easy and precise. Next thing. If you work somewhere along uh, an edge, the, it's, um, yeah, there's a danger or there might be chips just flying out and the dust extraction might not catch the chips. This is why we have a chip deflector also within the delivery specification and without any tools you can put it into the um, base plate and then we have a deflector where the chips are transported in. Next thing. Within the delivery specification we have these pieces. We have um, a parallel fence. We have the gliding columns. And we have already within the delivery specification the fine adjustment fits in here you just tighten these two screws and then you can fine adjust the distance from the edge to the router you just put it in or something you can put it in here and in the fence there is an opening for the uh, routers, for the different router bits. But this also means if you work along an edge of a, of a board or a panel, there might be the danger that you might tip into it. This is why we have in the fence two inlays. And if you put them in, they close the gap. So there is no danger that you uh, yeah, make a mistake or something. We also have with the parallel fence the same distance of the columns as our big router the LO65 and this makes it also possible to use accessories for the LO65 so this is a, um, a rail adapter it's called the um, LOFA and it fits on both machines and it fulfills different um, yeah, possibilities or demands that might come in another video. Uh, what we have here now is for the manufacturing of shelves, we also introduced a new um, rail, F80 and LR in German means lock rail. This is for the shelf pins that you have in your cabinet. So the distance here is 32 millimeters and we can copy this distance of the pin here. So we can turn it out, go to the next hole and then we can do the 5 millimeter router bit. We can easily turn this up, go to the next hole, route it out, open it, 32 millimeters again. And for this type of work, it is necessary that we turn off the permanent um, uh, fixing 
of the of the height, and here we just use a 2.5 millimeter uh, key. We press the switch in and close it, so we can leave one hand on the adapter and one hand just to push down the router. So now let's see what we have in the delivery specification. Oh, it's plugged in. The sign for the two things to plug it out. So open, <laughs> like the MMM. <laughs> Muss man Cut machen? Ja. Oh. Ist der Knopf zu den 30% produziert? Ja. Ah, so, within the delivery specification, we have the machine, we have these two adapters, we have Three different sizes. We have one adapter. This. <laughs> we have the power fans and everything within a case. For Holland. So within the delivery specification we have three different sizes, 20, 30, 40, but this does not fit to all different types of jigs. This is why we have an adapter if you work with the lead jig or with portal cable system, but for some uses or for some jigs there are two very important sizes and this is why we also, as an accessory, we offer a 17 mm jig and a 24, yeah, where we have this adapter and the um, copy wing already inserted. <laughs>